What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my wrestling DVD collection. Let's get right into this. So I'm actually surprised that I've never thought about doing this video for my channel before because as you guys know, if you're here for all of my different contents, I do share and talk about my collections of everything that I collect. So I'm surprised that I never shared this collection with you guys. And on top of that, I talk about WWE quite a bit, wrestling in general, and different videos around that. So it just really surprised me that I never decided to share my wrestling DVD collection with you guys. So most of these are WWE slash TNA pay-per-view DVDs that I purchased, but some are not. So I'm going to start off with the non-pay-per-views. Up first is WWE's Top 50 Superstars of All Time. This one came out in 2010, and it basically just talks about the top 50 superstars of all time, their history, the highlight of their career, and stuff like that, so them as a person. There's honestly not too much wrestling matches in this DVD set. It is a three-disc set, and that, back then, whenever I was collecting, I was more into collecting the pay-per-views for that reason of getting to watch the matches and the pay-per-views as opposed to just learning about the history and the highlights of Superstars' careers. Still a great DVD for my collection. It's just I'm more into watching the actual fights and the wrestling as opposed to hearing about what the wrestler did. The next one is The Greatest Superstars of the 21st Century. So very similar to the previous DVD. That it just basically talks about the highlights, but this one here is just of the 21st century. So we have Chris Jericho, the Hardy Boys, Batista, guys like that, where opposed to the last one, they may be included in it. I honestly can't remember. But you also have people like Hulk Hogan, The Rock, Stone Cold that are in that one as well. So again, this is a three disc. I can't remember when this one came out. I want to say 2011. Uh, yeah, it looks like 2011, so this one's nine years old, so most of these are from back then or prior to that, that I just happened to pick up back then. Next up is WrestleMania 28. Of course, we have The Rock versus John Cena, Triple H versus The Undertaker. This was a great pay-per-view, but the reason I have it in disc format purchased from a store, rather than me recording the pay-per-view whenever I was watching it live, which I do have WrestleMania 25, 26, 27, along with Royal Rumble 2010, 2011, one of the Elimination Chambers from back then as well, that I recorded live, and I have there upstairs next to my CD shelf in my collection. But this one here, I didn't get to watch WrestleMania 28 live, so my dad ended up giving this to me at, I believe, a Christmas present. So I still love the pay-per-view. It was a great pay-per-view. I just never got to watch it live that year. Next up, the rest of these are pay-per-view, by the way. And some of them are older ones. Some of them are around the era whenever I was collecting these. So 2010. The next one here is No Way Out. And I believe this is 2003. So we have The Rock versus Hulk Hogan. Stone Cold versus Eric Bischoff. Scott Steiner versus Triple H. Uh, the Undertaker versus Big Show, and many, many more matches. This was a great pay-per-view. I absolutely love watching this. A lot of great moments from this pay-per-view, so I'm glad that I have that in my collection. Next up, another No Way Out. This one is No Way Out 2004. So, of course, we have Brock Lesnar versus Eddie Guerrero, Kurt Angle, John Cena, and The Big Show in a triple threat match for the number one contender for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Rey Mysterio versus Chavo Guerrero, and a few more matches. So this was an epic pay-per-view. Of course, Eddie Guerrero I'm a huge fan of, so seeing him on the cover is one reason I decided to purchase it. Next up is Cyber Sunday, which I really wish they would bring back something along those lines of Cyber Sunday, where the fans get to interact and pick who the opponents are, the match stipulations, and things like that. I think that would be epic, but there was Triple H, or sorry, a triple threat match with Big Show, John Cena, and Booker T. Whoever won became the, took the champion from the person that they beat. DX versus the Rated RKO, and many, many more great matches. I absolutely love this. The only thing is, though, because I didn't watch it at the time, I did purchase the DVD, 
I knew exactly who was going to be in what matches and what the stipulations were. So watching it live after seeing the back cover didn't have the same feeling as it should have for me. Next up is SummerSlam 2008. Now I don't have too many SummerSlam ones either, but we do have Kofi Kingston and Mickey James versus Santino Morella and Beth Phoenix. This is when Kofi Kingston won the Intercontinental Championship. And of course, Mickey James won the Women's Championship. It was a really cool uh, gender, mixed gender match. So that was pretty cool. WWE Championship, Triple H versus The Great Khali. Hell in a Cell match, Undertaker versus Edge. There's so many great matches for this pay-per-view. Next is... Uh, what year is this? Uh, 2006. So SummerSlam 2006. This one is epic. We have Big Show versus Sabu for the ECW Championship. Booker T versus Batista for the World Heavyweight. John Cena versus Edge for the WWE. We have Hulk Hogan versus Randy Orton. The Legend Killer versus The Legend. Uh, Ric Flair versus Mick Foley in an I Quit match. So there's so many great matches on this pay-per-view. They have a Legends. They have everything that I would love in a pay-per-view. Of course, I'm a huge ECW fan, so I love Sabu. It was honestly amazing to see. Next up is one of my favorite WrestleManias of all time, and that is WrestleMania 19. We have a lot of great matches. We have The Undertaker versus Big Show and A-Train. It was supposed to be a tag team match, but Nathan Jones got attacked backstage. We have Matt Hardy uh, and Rey Mysterio facing off for the Cruiserweight Championship. Stone Cold versus The Rock. Kurt Angle versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. And Hulk Hogan versus Mr. McMahon. Lots of great matches for this pay-per-view. This pay-per-view was amazing. Again, one of my favorite WrestleManias of all time. But my top favorite WrestleMania of all time would have to be WrestleMania 25. I absolutely love that pay-per-view. I don't have the disc for it, but I did uh, record it from watching it live, and I have it upstairs in my collection as well. Next up is Armageddon, which I love this pay-per-view. I wish they'd bring it back. This is from uh, 2006. So we have Booker T versus Finley for the... Um, sorry... This kind of makes some sense. Okay, so World Heavyweight Champion Batista and John Cena, the WWE Champion, versus Booker T and Finley. Kane versus MVP in an Inferno match. The Undertaker versus Mr. Kennedy in a last ride match. So really epic matches. This pay-per-view was amazing. I absolutely love this. Huge fan of MVP and Mr. Kennedy. So they had great matches. Next up is TNA. Genesis, and I believe this is the first time that Booker T appeared on TNA after leaving the WWE, so I want to say this is 2007. Yes, it is. So Booker T's match was Sting and Booker T versus Kurt Angle and Kevin Nash. This is prior to Main Event Mafia. They eventually all teamed up. So this is the first time Booker T was in TNA, and the first time he was in a TNA event. Next up is Backlash 2008. This one included MVP versus Matt Hardy for the U.S. Championship. Uh, Big Show versus Great Khali. Undertaker versus Edge for the World Heavyweight Championship. And a fatal four-way match for the WWE Championship. JBL, Triple H, John Cena, and Randy Orton. So I absolutely love Backlash. And I'm glad that WWE decided to bring it back. And it's currently a pay-per-view for the WWE. Next up is going to be Survivor Series. I absolutely love this cover, which is probably why I got drawn into it. It's from 2005. So we have Team Raw versus Team SmackDown. We have uh, Kurt Angle versus John Cena for the WWE Championship. Ric Flair versus Triple H in the Last Man Standing match. United States Championship match. Chris, uh, Chris Benoit versus Booker T. This is best of seven, match one. Lots of great matches for this pay-per-view as well. And the last DVD that I have in my WWE and, sorry, wrestling DVD collection is another Survivor Series because I absolutely love the pay-per-view. The traditional tag team match is one of my favorite things of all time. And this one here is from 2006. So it includes Chris Benoit versus Shovel Grail for the United States Championship. The traditional tag team match, so DX, Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, CM Punk versus Randy Orton, Edge, Johnny Nitro, Gregory Helms, and Mike Knox. This is the iconic moment where Mike Knox got eliminated early on and Shawn Michaels Triple H are going, who's that? 
Because in my opinion, Mike Knox should not have been in this match. At the time, he was a nobody. Uh, Mr. Kennedy versus Undertaker in a first blood match. Another traditional tag team match. John Cena, Kane, Bobby Lashley, RVD, and Sabu versus Big Show, Umaga, Finley, MVP, and Test. And then the World Heavyweight Championship match, Batista versus King Booker. This is prior to Booker T leaving the WWE for pay-per-view, sorry, for TNA, which I have that pay-per-view for Booker T's first appearance in TNA as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed my WWE slash wrestling DVD collection. I'm surprised once again that I've never shared this before. I just randomly thought of it recently and I decided to share it with you guys because I'm a huge fan of WWE. I'm a huge fan of wrestling. Most of these DVDs I did purchase over 10 years ago. So I don't buy them anymore. They're hard to find. There was a store locally that did have them very cheap. That store has since closed. So the only place to get DVDs like this are online, which is expensive, especially with shipping or occasionally Walmart, but Walmart doesn't have any of the older stuff like I have in my collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to be sharing with you some more WWE stuff, some more of my collection stuff very soon. So I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.